and I, yeah, I mentioned before that I think that number of flights is more important than number of hours in your yeah. first year yeah. because you're just going through that whole cycle of unpacking your glider and clipping in Launching all the things that you can cock up yeah. happen from clipping in wrong, yeah. clipping your glider around the wrong way, turning the wrong way on launch, fucking up a launch because you don't ground handle it well enough, or setting up a landing badly, like not flaring enough, flaring too early. Everything bad happens at launch and land. Yeah. So more of those you can clip, clipping years. in your speed bar with a wrap in it so that when you put it on, you can't take it off. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> and the the nil wind landings are, are harder than the landings in in a bit of wind. Yeah. So yeah. So you practice them. Um, you get used to how your glider behaves in a, in a fast nil wind landing. So. You might have seen this on on the YouTube videos and so on, but um, when you you're coming in and when you're about eight or oh, so yeah, you put on a little bit of brake, um, and when you're about eight meters or one glider height above the ground, you let the brakes up and the glider will dive and start swooping and you'll be going along the ground really really fast, but the fact that you're going fast is good because you've got um, energy to flare. So when you do the flare, the glider will go like this. Whereas if you come in, depending on your wing, actually with with uh, with uh, lower rate of wings, it might not be too bad. But um, if you if you're coming in, um, yeah, it's 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 easy to come in too slow. And then when you go to flare, nothing much happens, yeah. and you end up ru having to run or slide on your bum to run it out. So just, just all those, just landing in different conditions, launching in different conditions, is is probably the most valuable thing you can do. 